All plants don't look same. You may have seen huge umbrella like banyan tree. In cold hilly regions, you would find cone like pine trees. And you must have seen small water plants floating in ponds. Why are they different? Every plant grows in certain kind of environment, like few live in land, few live in water, and few plants grow in snowy area or desert. If you throw a mango plant into pond, would it grow in pond? No, mango plant can't grow in water. Mango trees grow in plain land only. Trees that grow in plain land have woody stem, flat and broad leaves. They have shape like an umbrella, like banyan tree, mango tree, etc. Now, why can't mango tree grow in snowy region? Because snow settles down on its leaves and branches and it will die. Look, pine tree of hilly region has needle-like leaves. Snow can't settle on it. It has cone-like shape, so the snow fall off easily from them. Now, there are plants in desert too. Desert climate is very hot and dry. So, only few plants are found there, like cactus. There is hardly any rainfall in desert, so desert plants have fleshy stem to store water. Their leaves are like thorns to prevent water loss. Their roots are spread far out in search of water. You must have heard about mangrove forest like Sundarban. If you ever go there, you would find this kind of tree. You know, small branch like things which are coming out of the soil are actually roots. In marshy land, soil is clay. So, there is too much water in soil, but there is very little air. Those small roots come out of soil to breathe in air. Those are called new metaphors. This is our national flower, lotus. Isn't it beautiful? We all know that lotus grows in pond. Similarly, some other plants grow in water only. Those are called aquatic plants. Roots of some aquatic plants like lotus, water lilies are fixed in mud. Big round leaves float over the surface of water. Stem of these plants are very flexible so that they don't get damaged by strong water flow. Roots of few aquatic plants are not fixed in mud, so they can flow away with water like this plant. Its stem is filled with air so it can float easily. This kind of plant is called floating plant. Some plants grow completely underwater. These plants are called submerged plants. Their leaves are narrow and flexible. They give out oxygen in water which is used by fish. The natural environment or surrounding where a plant lives is called its habitat. Water plants live in aquatic habitat. There are three kinds of aquatic plants, floating plants, fixed plants and submerged plants. Plants that grow on land are called terrestrial plants. Some terrestrial plants like oak, mulberry, maple, etc. shed their leaves before winter to protect themselves from cold. These kind of plants are called deciduous plants. But many plants have their leaves throughout the year. These plants are evergreen plants like mango, pine, etc. So there are terrestrial plants and aquatic plants. Terrestrial plants are either evergreen or deciduous and aquatic plants can be divided into three groups first fixed water plants second free floating plants and third underwater plants plants living in different environments look different just like we need to adjust to where we live plants need to adjust to its environment too this process of making changes in themselves to adjust to their surroundings or habitat is called adaptation. So that is all for now. Goodbye children.